Downtown Madison is set to transform in the coming years as the state government is planning to sell three of its large office buildings on the Isthmus. JT Saskowski is live outside some of those buildings right now to explain how business leaders see these sales as an opportunity. JT? That's right, Amber. In fact, I want you to imagine for a moment if you were the owner of this massive downtown office building here behind me, which currently houses the Department of Public Instruction, what could you do with it? Well, this is a prime piece of real estate. It is a massive lot, a big building, downtown Madison, a block off the square here on South Webster Street. Now, whatever those plans are that you have in your mind, I want you to double them because not only is the state going to sell this office building, it's also going to sell this one over here behind me, which currently houses the Department of Natural Resources as a package deal. Today, Secretary-designee Kathy Blumfeld of the State Department of Administration revealed new information about the sales. Those included timelines and that the state plans to sell these two buildings together. These buildings are called Jeff 2 and Jeff 3. The state is also planning to sell the office building at 1 West Wilson Street downtown. It expects to have vacated all of the buildings within the next three to five years. Downtown business leaders are excited about the possibilities that the sales offer. The state is already taking significant amount of inquiries for parties that are interested in purchasing this land. It tells you that downtown Madison is hot. It tells you that this land tracks are very valuable and that we're going to see some great, interesting, creative uses that will help en enrich downtown for years to come. The sale is part of the state's new Vision 2030 plan to consolidate office space. Vision 2030 began with planning in 2021 after COVID-19 made remote work a possibility for state office workers. And now the state does not need all of the space that it's currently paying to maintain. Jason Ilstrup with Downtown Madison tells me that he hopes that any projects that may come and redevelop these office buildings here behind me, he hopes those projects include housing and crucially affordable housing for workers here downtown. He says that all of those people who would come and live in these spaces would then go out and frequent downtown businesses, helping them grow and thrive. Live in downtown Madison, JT Saskowski, 27 News.